Yo, thanks for clicking. Welcome to Time In. This is Ricardo Lungus, and with me as always, the stupendous Tommy Crenshaw. Yeah, hey, Ricardo. What's going on, Tommy? How's how, how are things going? How's uh how's the life treating you? Well, I mean, life is good. As always, it's uh there's always good sports going on. Hey, introduce yourself to new sports and um Oh yeah. We uh d- sometimes uh me and uh, some old croonies, we uh, we try to introduce ourselves to new sports, uh, but usually that only lasts a few minutes, and we revert to talking about, you know, the real sports, because, you know, there's only so much of that whole, like, uh, lumberjacking stuff that you can handle, or... Yeah, um, triathlons and stuff like that. I mean, you know, it, it, you're highly athletic, but, you know, kind of a snooze fest, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, what, what's the one in, like, the winter where they use the, the, the guns and the snowshoes? Well, that, the, like, the, 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 the taffalon or something yeah. like that, deca, taffalon. It's the, some the, kind of alon. I don't know. It's no, like, it's, something like that. It's, it's the decathlon. Yeah, it's decathlon. The, the, decathlon. Yeah, they, they, they do in the winter, and they, yeah. they cross-country ski, and they, like, they, you know, they go uh, deep-sea diving or something. I don't know. It's like a bunch of different sports. Or something. Yeah, to me, I respect the endurance that these people go through. I'm not going to belittle that because it is impressive what they do. But it's also impressive watching videos of tribes people, like in Africa or South America, and they're going on hunts and they're jumping from trees and landing on cougars and you know st- stabbing them with rocks. I mean, but that's not a sport in the Olympics. I mean, it's that's survival, and that's what these snowshoe people are doing. They they're surviving. You know, you want to make it real, put a, a seal or a whale that they have to, like, ride on a tackle or something like that. But uh, Now, if there was, like, a professional wars wrestling something, you know, like that, you know, I could probably do, do that. You know, wars wrestling, like, or maybe you go up. Maybe it's, like, it's a different level of mammals, like, seafaring mammals that you got to wrestle. You know, you start off with, like, an otter, and then it just goes up from there. Maybe get, a, like, a seal and then, like, a sea lion and then a horse. And, you know, yeah. you know, you just you go up against that. That might, you know, that might be, you know, a little bit more entertaining. But, you know, I think me and you and lots of folks, we, we prefer but, team sports. No, but tackling animals is entertaining. I mean, that seeing a person run and tackle an animal, there's, I mean, that is, uh, that's, I mean, I mean, they, we should get football players. To learn to tackle, I mean, granted, the body sizes are different based on the animal versus the human, but I'd like to see guys, okay, say so you decide that you're going to retire. Before you retire, part of your contract is you have to play a game where you tackle some animals. No, I mean, you could tackle like, you know, like, you know, like like baby baby cows and stuff, you know, like mm-hmm. little little horses and maybe some sheeps and whatnot baby, like that. I want to see a, to tackle a calf. I want to see him tackle like a Texas Longhorn. I uh, know yeah, that hey yeah that's a little bit dangerous right there especially especially if you're not like a like say you like an NBA player like say say you like you know you, you can't tackle a well a, no but Texas NBA players are not used to tackling well I mean most of them aren't but yeah. some of I mean I'm talking about football players football I mean, players I mean I think of like uh, uh you know think of uh I don't know who's the toughest football player right now think of a JJ Watt think of like a JJ Watt running up and tackling. Like I don't know, a, a a moose, not a big one, maybe a smaller moose or a, well, baby moose, you know, baby yeah, moose. Well, yeah, is still I think strong. that would be kind of uh, inhumane. You have, you have well, to, well, a ba- well, baby moose is like six foot three, you know. To okay, to you get like, you know, like a big, like a big baby, like a like, big, like a baby Davis. Yeah, people size. don't realize how big mo- mooses is are. You know, mo- a moose can get like a uh, fifteen foot tall. You know, full grown moose. You know, you, they're they're not ta- they're not tiny animals by any stretch of the wood. Yeah, so, you know. they, well, yeah, okay, so the, it's all in, in put into perspective, right? Because, yeah. I mean, they got some big, like, baby tigers and, uh, oh, yeah. like, the, the, the Siberian ones. They're bigger than the Bengal tigers. But they, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I think it's all respect. I mean, I mean, if they, I mean, I, there's 12 year old kids that are taller than me. They're, they're getting, there's, a, there's like a seven foot tall 12 year old playing in Romanian basketball leagues. Like, I mean, exactly. you're telling me that that kid couldn't come up and do some damage to me? He, I mean, to me, he's practically a baby. But, uh, I mean, that's where it gets oh, – so, yeah, so if a J.J. Watt tackles uh, like a, a nice-sized moose that may be a baby. Yeah, oh, um, maybe a two-year-old moose. You oh, know, no, 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 like, yeah, I think that's like full-grown, right? I mean, it's uh, – so Maybe the, uh, a year and a half. We'll give him a year and a half old moose. You got to take that moose out, you know, and then you, you, know, you get a nice little ceremony. You know, you get your gold watch or whatnot, you know. Yeah. 
that's how they, yeah, and that's and they'll bring it up late in the hall. If you end up making it to the Hall of Fame, you say, okay, yeah, remember this time and when you retired, you tackle. If you couldn't tackle it, maybe you can't get in the Hall of Fame. Like that, that'd be a good one, or you don't get to go watch. You know, it's, yeah, it's like uh, when you when you go into high school, you got to take the exit exam. It doesn't matter how well you did. You could have a 5.2 and a failure exit exam, and you're not getting out of high school. Exactly. So, so it should be the same thing. This should be the exit exam of NFL players, regardless of your position. I mean, everybody's got to ta- learn how to tackle because you never know what's going to happen. Definitely, definitely. I mean, even kickers, you know, they got to tackle sometimes, you know. You know, usually they hurt themselves tackling people, but you know it, it happens. You they would have to tackle something that wouldn't immediately be able to kill them, or at least well, they would have a chance. Because you can't go have them tackle a lion. I mean, that's just oh ridiculous. no no no, you no. know, or like a or like a, a ostrich or something. Because the ostrich to kick it kick your face off. You yeah, know? but that one, yeah, the ostrich just could do some damage, but it's not like a lion. I think uh, ostrich would be if you landed right. You, I mean, the thing might like its neck might come off. So you'd have to like, it'd have to be an herbivore, like a like a anything like a a, a moose or a, a bull, uh, maybe. Oh, what are those big rodents down in South America? The, the capybaras. Oh, the, you, you you can't cap you can't tackle a capybara, uh, Tommy. They they they're too cute. Yeah, but they're, you, you, they're, can't, they're, you can't you can't tackle a cute animal. It's a giant Tommy. rat. I mean, that's, it's a giant rat, but it's a giant cute rat. You cannot tackle a cute animal. You just you, you can't. It's like it's like. It's like tackling uh, 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 one of those phoenix foxes with the big old ears. Yeah, yeah, or like a uh, like the the red pandas. Yeah, you can't you can't, you can't tackle, tackle those. Like, uh, I don't care how big it is; it's too cute. A, you can't you can't tackle it. A bush baby would be too small to tackle, but they're cute too. They uh, no, it, it, it's got to be some a uh, kangaroo. Oh, that'd be a good one. Now you can tackle oh. a kangaroo. I can I can go with that. You know, you you get those big old red can- kangaroos with the muscles and uh, they always they, flexing yeah. for you. Uh, they ripped. Yeah, yeah they work yeah. out. Yeah, exactly. It's like now you can tackle one of them. You can go. You know, but you gotta be able to chase it down because if it's trying to get away from you, oh, well, you you gonna have trouble trying to catch yeah. that bad boy. That would be. You know what? The ratings would be through the roof. I mean, if you had this on TV, it would be the highest rated. It, this is probably why they're not doing it. The league's not gonna allow it. It's just yeah, a, you got, you got, you got. Uh, what, who's that? Uh, yeah, Wes Welker. Wes Welker trying to tackle a kangaroo. Yeah, now that now that'd be a, that'd be excellent. That'd be an excellent TV if you ask me. Oh yeah. Oh, I I definitely I'd like to see that. Uh, I mean, the, the options are endless. I mean, they, they they might create hybrid animals like that, or like you know have a chance against a like you know NFL player. I mean, what if you like, what if you mixed? I don't know. Say like a horse with. Uh, like some bird. Well, Tommy, what about you know what what you know? Instead of like mixing animals, what if he just like did like the miniature animals, like a like a little miniature, uh, like a like a little little horse, like that little horse thing, like like uh, they're mean, not they're they're not cute enough to not be tackled. You know the little Shetland yeah, the, the, horses. The, 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 or, what they call the, the min- miniature horses, and they're not yeah, people horses. Them. They're not ponies. That's a different no. sp- species. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so you, you get you get tackle you know miniature horse or a mule or something like that. You know you know you could even go far as to get them to tackle like a, a, a Saint Bernard or a Great Dane because you know Great uh, or Irish Wolfhound. What? Cause what? Them, them some big them some big. Uh, Big damn dogs, Tommy. But what, big what, dogs. what? What if you were able to declaw and defang a tiger? It still smack your face off. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, it, 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 yeah. I I wouldn't want to tackle it. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I mean, you know, you 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 could. It, it's all possible, but you know, it, it still smack your face off. Oh, I got one. A bear. No, once again, it smack your face off. Have you not seen the movie Revenant, Tommy? Have you yeah, not seen okay. Revenant? Well, uh, I mean, that was like 200, 300 years ago when that, when that was taking place. I mean, bears have uh, become a little bit more domesticated. Uh, some of them have been. You know, they, they're not they're not used to going out and hunt for fish and berries and stuff like that. They just go do, they go dumpster diving. They're basically becoming like giant raccoons. You know, now that'd be scary. You know, you know, a giant raccoon, Tommy. That would be super scary, well, yeah, especially they, trying to tackle. They could you know, tackle I mean, one of them. It could tackle like, a giant raccoon. You could breed a giant raccoon. Cause you know, cause the raccoons they got those those human like hands, and it'd be like you know, it'd just be like wrestling, like it'd be straight up wrestling. You know, 
technically, uh, you know, in all reality, if you 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 bred the giant raccoons, you could actually teach them to catch a pass. That's or, what I was or, thinking. Or 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 even you know catch take the rock, bust through the hole. You know you know they got the hands. They got the they got the the human like hands. They can do it. You know, and they're strong. Those are some strong little hands. Could an animal in say ten years play? Foot, man, man, now I'm saying I'm not saying in the NFL. Please hear me out. I'm not suggesting in ten years there's going to be an animal player in the NFL. That's just ridiculous. Thirty years maybe, but but uh, no, I think that maybe there could be like a uh, some type of startup league where you might have some either raccoons, like you said, they can catch. You got different types of monkeys that might be able to catch. You know, some monkeys throw like uh, rocks and stuff to each other, like from trees to like fight off birds. So they're like, you know, they're completing passes and catches and stuff. And, uh, no, I'm you just, know, you know, personally, you know, I, you know, I would, I, you know, I would bring in like horses and whatnot to kick field goals and stuff like that. You know, they're good at kicking, you know, you know, they, you know, you, you, you know, at least a punt or something like that, you know, you get, they get, you just throw it up there and they just bam, kick it out of the air, you know, from the long snapper. You know, you, you might just have to have somebody that, you know, to slap them on the butt to make right. them kick it right. You know, right. I, yeah. You know, you, personally, I think a horse could probably kick an eighty-yard field goal. You know, that's that's what I'm saying. That, that's I, that's all I'm saying. Uh, you know, beyond human ability, but the horse, that horsepower. You know, kicking that ball through the the uprights, I think it work. You know, you know, and you know, you, just like lots of things, you can test it out in college first. I think you can bring in the horse kickers for college and get them get them lined well, up, yeah, get them yeah, trained but, properly. But that's a long way away. I'm, 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 what I'm saying is that you could have something start up with just all animals, possibly. I mean, you're going to have to have human uh, interaction involvement, and you're going to have to go through the uh, the, the Sierra Club, or like the, the Humane Society. You can't have, like, shock rods and stuff. You can't turn it into, like, a carnival act. So it's got to be, like, really done on the up and up. But as far as the, the I, there's no disagreement. It's going to be a uh, an equinarian animal. I think that's what they call like the horse type creatures. That sounds that sounds right. Yeah. So the, the equinarians are going to be the ones that most likely going to be uh, kicking and punting and stuff like that. But they're not. They're, they're just. They're not the animals that are like a one trick pony, so to speak. So they've got to. Uh, it's got to be that, like you said, the animals with the hands. So if you're yeah, an animal, yeah, you, yeah. you got hands. You're you're going to be looked at as a possibility, right? Exactly. You know, if you think about it, the best, you know, O line would be a bunch of like oxes and whatnot. You got your oxes on, you know, the O line, the D line. Then mm. you you know you gotta have like a gorilla or something as your as your QB. You know, maybe and maybe like you you get you like a you know you get your quick scat back. You know, you get you get like a cheetah or something. Yeah. Then you got your you got your your, your big bag. Maybe another gorilla. You know, maybe maybe even a kangaroo, cause you know they you know they quick, fast, jumping over stuff. They could probably take some hits. Now now you 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 know you gotta have your your linebackers. You know you gotta have your linebackers. It probably be horses. You know you know you gotta use the horses for kicking, but you gotta have the linebackers. You know they they can well, turn they, and move. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You you're, you're taking like you're taking like an all star Pro Bowl type thing. Like what if you had to just do one animal? Cause then like so, you know you realize animals are racist. The animals are very racist, and so like. You know, I don't know how it breaks down with which animals hate other animals, but sometimes you go to the zoo and you, they put the wrong animal with the with the wrong animal, and then they get into fist fights and it, it turns into a bloodbath. So, no, I, I, you know, I would I would like to see I would like to see like cockatiels play against each other. You know, you have to have a smaller ball and whatnot, but you know, a cockatiel league. You know, I like those. That, that, that's a bird, right? I mean, so like yeah. how you're gonna have to have no, you. I mean, how a bird is gonna catch a ball? But I mean, you gotta have a smaller ball, Tommy. You can't have like a full size. Right? You gotta have a, a ball that's you know you, you know regulation to them. And you know, I, what are you, what are you gonna do? You gonna cover the wings and stick them? I mean, uh, how are you gonna catch? No, you they got, catch, you they have, catch it with the feet. They catch the, it with the, the feet. The, the, that that's acrobatics. That's not they're gonna be allowed in the league. You gotta have like they don't want to see got, trick you can't, plays. You can't you can't use human rules for animals. You're gonna have to modify stuff. Well, they, I mean, to me, then it's not football. Or even basketball. I mean, basketball, I think you could have orangutans playing because they're long arms. And they could probably, you know, do some spin moves and slam dunks and stuff like that. 
Well, but then, you know, what about the giraffes? You know, you got to have the giraffes come in. You know, they, you know, you have to, you have to raise the, the goal, you know, like to, you know, 35 feet or something like when you bring the giraffes in, you know, you, 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 there's all like little things I'm, you got to I, I, I feel like you're, like you're, your head is in the clouds with this one, uh, Ricardo, with all due respect. We're trying to focus on something very realistic here. And I'm thinking maybe an all monkey or all raccoon type team. It's to your point. It's got to be the creatures with the hands and that have some speed. They could take off and they could. I mean, who do you think could run a wildcat better? You think like a baboon, like a team of baboons, or a team of uh, what do they call the? the uh, what's the ones that steal uh, hairbrushes in India? Oh yeah, those uh, the, little the, kombucha, the, 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 ma- the, ma- the macaques, the macaques. Because the, the macaque, macaques yeah. are the same ones that are up in Japan that go into those hot springs. Because you know what the, the story is that they saw people doing it like hundred years ago, so they copy. So they already copying. Exactly. So the, you could just put them in front of a bunch of NFL games. You put them in. A, I'm, here's, here's what you got to do. You got to take a room. You got to get a bunch of uh, peanuts and beer and stuff like this to loosen them up, and have a good time. And have them watch. Put them up in a suite, a luxury suite of like so many different NFL games. Just put them all over the league and let them watch the game. Let them observe. And then they're going to want to stop playing. And they'll do it naturally. And you get a, a, a few drunk macaques thrown around like some beer cans and stuff like that. Next thing you know, you hand them a football. That's what I think the, the, the animal is. I think it's got to be a macaque. You heard it here first, folks. Tommy Crenshaw says 2050 all macaque league football. Be ready for it. And that's the end of the game. Thanks for listening to Diamond. TTFN.